Hello, this is the next installment of Dr. Holly's Please Read to Me Break. Awesome begins. Awesome. And we have our awesome assistant intern, Danielle Freeman Jefferson, who turns 20 tomorrow. So I asked her to please read to me or read with me. Um, in honor of her birthday. So we were we were thinking about like which book we should read and so we were came up with um, the books that were in her room that she's had since she was really young. So we were trying to figure out which book to read. So we have this one, Tim and so Bedtime. It's a board book that we love. And it still has my name on the bottom. Still has my name on the bottom. The dog really had a good time with this book. Like this book has been in water. This book has been everywhere. And it's still vibrant as ever. 10 Minutes Till Bedtime we, um, by Peggy Rathman. We love this book. And then we have We Are Bears. We Are Bears, which... A um, board book. A board book, which a parent of one of the students in my class, Larice, a parent of Ahmed, in one of my classes, gave this book to me when Danielle was just turning three. And um, so that was 2003. Three. Yeah. And there's an inscription that she wrote it, We Are Bears. Danielle, I hope this story becomes one of the many cherished memories of you and your mom having a wonderful time together. Love, Lurice and I met, June 2003. And we love this book. Like this, we read this book a lot, a lot um, this board book. Um, and we still have it and we just love, we just love it. And we have Wide Mouth Frog. Mm, it's a pop-up. So this book Brought pops up. She pops up. This book brought a ton of entertainment. We were reading a lot of pop-up books at one time, so we love um, this <laughs> pop-up book phase. And this, my favorite, personally, Frog and the Bog. And the Bog. So let's read this book since it's your favorite. Um, we have some other books like um, Thunder Rose, which mm -hmm. we love. Um, yeah. All right. Okay. Frog in the Bog by Karma Wilson and Joan Rankin. The pictures in this book are pretty beautiful. Frog in the Bog. Frog in the Bog. And I like to read the dedication. So this one says, oh, gotta get situated. To my wonderful agent Steve who helped me make it in the frog eat bug world of writing. And the illustrator wrote, Felena and Chris, in memory of your childhood. The frog in the bog. There is a frog on the log in the middle of the bog. Look, it says beetle boats for hire. <laughs> a small green frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. Pictures on the camera don't do the book justice because they're really beautiful pictures. He flicks one tick as it creeps up a stick. Ah, look at that. The tick has a little um, net. <laughs> one tick in the belly of a frog. At uh, one tick in the belly of a small mm. green frog on a half sunk log in, in the, the middle, middle of the bog. bog. And the frog grows a little bit bigger. He sees two fleas as they leap through the reeds. One tick, two fleas, and the belly of a frog on a half-sunk log in the middle of a bog. And the frog grows a little bit bigger. This trips me out. Fly, fly, drum. He, he spies, go ahead, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> he spies three flies as they buzz through the skies. One tick, two fleas, three flies, oh, oh my. my! In the belly of a frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. We read this book a lot, it's kind of coming apart. <laughs> and the frog grows a little bit bigger. You can see him kind of getting bigger. He gloves four slugs as they sink through the sludge. One tick, two, two fleas, three flies, oh my, four slugs, ew, ugh. In the belly of a frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. And the frog grows a little bit bigger. <laughs> he, in he inhales five snails 
from their heads to their tails. Oh my gosh, look at this. Wow. And their boat. And the boats. What the leaf it? boat. This man and is the leaf boat. One tick, two fleas, three flies. Oh my, four slugs. Ew, ugh. And five slimy snails in the belly of a frog. And a half sunk log in the middle of the frog. What a hog, that, that frog. That's a nice little rhythm too. And the frog grows a little bit bigger than, like you know, just sitting around with the walk, you say? <laughs> That <laughs> log with the frog in the middle of the bog starts to rise, and the frog sees eyes. This is so crazy to me. I love that. I love that picture. And the frog sees claws and a big set of jaws and a mouth like a crater. And the frog screams, Gator! <laughs> With his mouth open wide, all the bugs inside start to crawl and fly and, sit and slither and slide. Out come five snails from their heads to their tails. Four slugs, ew, uh. Three flies, oh, oh my. my. I suppose it's like this, oh my. <laughs> Two fleas, dear, dear me, and one tiny tick. Ick. He goes, <laughs> Ooh, that was so gross. I'm sorry I did that. I'm so sorry I did that. One tick, ick. <laughs> that was really gross. <laughs> but maybe because, you know, one tick, ick. Right, right in, in the, the middle, middle of his holler, the, the frog, frog grows a whole lot, lot smaller. <laughs> See you later, says the gator, as he romps through the swamp, because the itty-bitty frog isn't big enough to chomp. Now, all the bugs in the bog keep away from the frog, and the frog never sits on a half-sunk log. We love that. We love to see it. Love to hear it. Bug! <laughs> We love that book. So thank you for um, which is way back here somewhere. <laughs> thank y'all for listening to the Dr. Holly. Please read to me. Break. Thank you, intern. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for getting me on the show. <laughs> we'll have Pleasure. to come back and read some of the other yeah, books that we definitely. enjoy. I'll have my people call your people. Got it. She'll have the people call my people. All right. Thank you for listening to Frog, Frog and the Bog. Peace.